lovers and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little bit of a chat topic. I was conversing with a few of my Reborn Doll friends in the community and we both came to realize that there has been a lot of random businesses and companies cropping up and advertising to sell reborn dolls or reborn doll accessories and i thought it was a good time to make this video for a lot of you out there who are new to the reborn doll hobby and may not know what you're getting into when it comes to reborn dolls um there's a lot of companies that will kind of falsify information and go as far as to steal reborn doll sculpts from legit artists and remake them in their own materials and sell them under their name and then put them out there and say that hey these are reborn dolls and it's the real deal. So I really wanted to make this video um, to put it out there that there is a such thing as fake reborn dolls and you honestly probably wouldn't want to get one. Now I know there's the one side of the story where is I like reborn dolls but I don't know if it's a hobby that I'm 100% about. I just want to test the waters and see how it goes so i rather get the fake version of it and spend a whole lot less money now that can be a touchy topic and of course i'm not here to tell anybody what to do with their money you can do exactly whatever you want to do with your money because it's your money and nobody can stop you nobody is going to actually shame you if you had a fake reborn doll but it really all comes down to the quality and what you're getting. And I feel to believe if you're going to spend a hundred or two hundred dollars on a fake reborn doll, you could put a little save a little bit more, put with that and get a real one that's really good quality. I do feel to believe people who kind of cheap cheapskate on fake reborn dolls from companies overseas and when i say overseas i mean not in the usa uh, mainly factory made dolls from china that are posing as reborn dolls you're not i can 100 percent guarantee that you are not going to get the same quality that you would get from a legit doll artist who is selling reborn dolls so the main point of this video was mainly to give you some pointers on what you can look out for and how you can tell the difference between a fake reborn doll and a real reborn doll so let's talk about first some of the fake points for fake reborn dolls um one is they're not going to be as detailed painting as a real reborn doll most of the time the hair is going to be some type of wig or if it is rooted hair it is not going to be very good quality rooted hair it's probably going to be synthetic and rooted very sparsely with lots of pluggy holes it's not going to look realistic overall the doll is not going to look realistic um secondly the materials that they are using to construct these dolls are not very good materials we don't know what they're constructing these dolls with if the items are um health approved we don't know what's in them. It could be lead. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. We don't know. We don't know what the materials are. We can't source them. Um, another thing, of course, that the price is going to be astronomically low for a reborn doll. It is very, very rare that you can get a brand new reborn doll for under $200. There are some instances that maybe you 
would come across a reborn doll collector who is selling their dolls for a really really low price or artists who is just starting out to make dolls and it's not the best realism but they may sell their dolls at a lower price point um, because of that but it is kind of rare because just to make a reborn doll it's probably going to cost at least $300 no matter how the quality of it comes out so if you find a reborn doll and it's under 200 bucks it's most likely not a legit reborn doll and um i think the last two last points of how you can tell a fake reborn doll a fake reborn doll is most likely going to come from overseas from a chinese factory a korean factory somewhere overseas and there won't be any kind of product photo variations there may only be one picture of the doll and that's pretty much all you get but the dead ringer for a fake reborn doll is that there is absolutely no paperwork that comes with the doll and when i say paperwork i don't mean like a little flyer from the company i mean a certificate of authenticity or some type of paperwork stating that this doll sculpt was created by such and such artists and it was painted by such and such artists that is a definite guarantee of how you can tell whether your doll is a fake reborn doll or a real one now before you get on my case i do know that bountiful baby does not always send their dolls with certificates however you are able to go online and look up those doll sculpts and find out whether it was a bountiful baby sculpt that was made or made by an artist that works for Bountiful Baby. So there are ways that you can look up Bountiful Baby sculpts even if it doesn't come with a certificate of authenticity. However, for the dolls that are made in China and come from overseas, there is going to be no legit paperwork on that doll. And most likely because these companies are ripping off real artists, taking molds of their sculpts casting them in whatever material that they're using and selling them as their own and that's why they don't have any paperwork for them like i said use your own discretion it is solely up to you whether you want to invest in a real reborn doll or a fake reborn doll it's completely up to you i'm here to be not not to be biased but I do feel to believe you get what you pay for and if you're expecting high end quality you expect you expect your reborn doll to sit across the room and look like a real kid <laughs> it's not gonna happen you're not I'm sorry but you're just not gonna get the quality that you're after when you decide to invest in fake reborn dolls now that we've covered some of the the aspects of what to look out for for fake reborn dolls i also want to point out some of the things you can look out for when you know you're getting a legit real reborn doll so right off the top you know that this is a legit real reborn doll when whomever you are buying from whether it is second hand from another doll collector or from a company or straight from the artist it comes with some kind of certificate certificate of authenticity certification from the doll artist that painted the doll a lot of reborn doll artists um, back up their work with n nursery um, what do you call it uh birth certificates <laughs> so pretty much each artist makes their own birth certificates and it basically states because i'm a 
put it out there any person who decides to invest in making reborn dolls they don't take it lightly okay it costs a lot of money to start up a reborn doll business so they take a lot of pride in their work and most of them do create uh, reborn doll birth certificates which state the nursery name the name of their business the name of the doll sculpt measurements for the doll and of course the artist who created the doll and pretty much all the dolls that I pretty yeah all the dolls that I have ever adopted came with reborn baby birth certificates now if you have a special doll sculpt it will also come with a certificate of authenticity from the artist that sculpted the doll so the doll artist there's one artist that sculpts the doll and produces the doll parts in vinyl and then there's a second artist that paints the doll and brings the doll to life if you can't find out those two things about your doll it's most definitely not a legit reborn doll but if you do have those two things you can rest assured that whatever doll you are bidding on or looking to purchase or looking to put on layaway is going to be a legit reborn doll um what else defines real reborn dolls um the fact that they are weighted because a lot of store bought dolls and dolls from china are not realistically weighted with polyfill and uh, fine glass beads they don't have those details that make them reborn dolls um if the doll is painted with a specific kind of air dry paint or most commonly um, Genesis heat set paints, you can rest assured that that doll is probably a, re a real reborn doll. Um, and I know this is ca a case to case basis, but it's most likely a real reborn doll when the price is definitely over two hundred dollars <laughs> and i'm talking usd uh us currency so i know it really sucks to say that like if you pay more for it it's the real thing not necessarily but those are the kind of prices that you can expect from quality legit reborn dolls and i just wanted to put that out there for you guys i haven't done a chat topic in a really long time and this is one that um even though i'm not biased this is one that i kind of i kind of felt inclined to put that out there i do know there are a lot of people who watch my channel i am not naive to that and i am very grateful for those who who gain some kind of joy and excitement and happiness from watching my videos but i also feel so bad for so many newcomers to the hobby who get side blinded and taken advantage of because people are just slapping the reborn doll label on their work calling it their work and it's really not what they claim it is and i really hate um people getting taken advantage of i hate get kids getting taken advantage of because it's so easy for a kid to fall in love with a doll and of course reborn dolls are expensive so the parents don't do their research sometime and you may end up with a doll that wasn't the quality that you were expecting and now you kind of know why so places to watch out for when it comes to fake reborn dolls it's most definitely hands down websites like ebay wish.com um what's i think on some on some listings on amazon are definitely like anything on amazon is definitely kind of shady when it comes to reborn dolls and places like aliexpress aliexpress is definitely known for selling a lot of knockoff products not just dolls i'm talking cosmetics other dolls and other doll hobbies like ball jointed dolls 
they are definitely known for knocking off stuff so just be wary of that if you're interested in getting into the reborn doll hobby but you know for sure you want the real deal don't be taken advantage of please do your research ask questions you can ask me questions you can ask any other reborn doll youtuber on here and they will tell you the truth because none of us want you guys to get taken advantage of and people work hard for their money and to be able to invest in this kind of hobby is not something to like stick your nose up at. It's it's serious for some of us, okay? Because we we definitely could be spending our money on other things. <laughs> but this is what makes us happy. This is the things we want to invest in. So you want to make sure that your investment is um, what you expect it to be so you're actually happy. So I hope this video was helpful to some of you guys. Uh, please leave any of your helpful comments to any Reborn Doll newcomers down in, in the comment section. Let's get a dialogue going. I love talking to you guys back and forth in the comments. Um, especially if it's something, you know, positive or, um, you know legit constructive criticism i do enjoy having conversations with you guys in the comments so let me know what you guys think have you guys ever came across any fake reborn dolls have you accidentally maybe purchased a fake reborn doll when you were just starting out in the hobby um how was the quality of it like i mean People are getting really bold these days when it comes to knockoff stuff and they're getting even better at the quality of it. But I've never had a fake one. Um, I'm just going by what I see and I don't, I'm not very impressed with it. But like I said, you do what you want with your money. I just want you to be well informed. So that's it for this video you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!